Hello everyone. So this is the second episode of the wrapper system that we are working on. So here you can see I can attach a rope to this wrapper point and climb up. That's it from the top. Like this. So if I need I can enter the wrapper from the top and wrap it down as it. Detach the rubber, you will be dropped below. Okay, so here, this is the final system. In this episode, this is what we are going to do. When we wrap up, when we enter the raffle, how to move my character automatically to below the wrapper point, like this. So, show you again. This. Similarly, if I wrap uh, from above, character will be moved like this. So we will work on how to determine the point that that character should be moved as a starting point, depending on if the character is starting to wrap from below or from above. So depending on that, the character will end up either here or directly below in a position like this and also how to make the character smoothly rotate towards the apple point okay so before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects i have done from my channel in my channel from my patreon page so once you become a member you can access everything without any limits so feel free to check it out I leave the links in description below. All right, now let's get started with today's episode. Okay, so this is what we have been worked on so far. Now we can the gun, but yeah, we can press R and put on a rope, attach a rope to the rival point. And we can't still move up, but if I press R again, it will be detached. And R again to attach to another rebel point. Okay, so the now the next step is moving up, climbing up, or rappelling up, whatever you want to call it. All right, so first, let me disable this line trace debug type i don't need it anymore and this is where the rope is attached and moved to the rappel point now after that i want to make the character move to this so if i do the rappel here i should be moved here so directly below the rappel point so we can climb up so here first, I'll set offset to none because um, while I'm on the rappel, I don't want I want to disable regular movement on the character, and then I'll move. The capsule component of the cap of the character using move to component move component to this will through the code will be moved smoothly to the desired location. So here we already have the wrapper location. So if also the wrapper normal. So we should be in a point right in front of this normal, in front of this point, so somewhat away and below, if we are starting from below. So for that, we have to multiply this with, let's say, 
200 points away from the ripple point so this together so break this now x position and y position is correct but for this Z position that depends for example if i'm entering from the top i should move to here but if i'm entering into the ripple from below i should move here so to calculate that we need to consider locations so of the character and the ripple location i let's do this it like this okay, ripple location and Here, so that we can do some because this might get a bit bigger. So, Like this, like this, both. And if this set is larger than this set, that means rebel point is above the character. So that means we are entering from below. Opposite is we are entering from above. So if we are entering from below, let's do a select node here. We can actually use the current Z location, Z component of the location of the character, of the actor. But if we are to consider that the row length is limited, we can do something like this here subtract from all these two variables let's call it data person unit and also from these two we should get the max max of this or this max out of uh, this or this that should be the edge this is when we enter in from below but if we are entering from above we can just use this point and reduce the half height something like half height of the capsule so That. All right, now that would be Z. And as for the rotation, I don't think it would matter matter because we this is a first person character. Rotation would be whatever the direction that we are looking at. But let's test it. Okay, oh, good. That one thing this maybe let's give it one second with ease in and out and of course shoulders rotation though it wouldn't matter all right all right now we move to the top move to mode below travel point so but we can't move up or down yet similarly test me remove this starting point 
So we can start here. Here, yeah, and we moved here. So I think it would be better if we make the character rotate towards this rebel point. So to do that, let's add an event. Custom event. And to Okay, let's add a tongue because I just don't need want to snap the rotation. So do it play from the start. Then we can get And we need to smoothly set it. So, yeah, get rotation. We can maybe not our internal. Yeah, and target we need to pass it. So, this will be called. We need to add a float, right? Just say time, event, maybe 0.5 seconds. Oh, let's say that. Zero, zero. And one, one. So a linear curve. Not a curve like linear. Change. Right. Alpha and connect it like this and show us path. Right now, here, before we go this. Smooth turn character and the target would be let's try this get Okay, let's try this. It didn't look. It didn't change the location. Oh well, actually, this target rotation it gonna be same as when we start. So it's it's not going to change because we are already looking at the point when we set the target rotation. The current rotation is always similar to the target rotation because we are already looking at the ripple point. So, instead of that, I think here, instead of rapper location, uh, instead of the current location, we will have to use this location.
this. What is this? It should work. Okay. I'm going to try it from the top. Yeah, the system is working. So, if you want to smooth out a little bit of rotation, what you can do is you can make this photo and make an additional point here then make like this so initially it would be smoother yeah all right well, i think we should stop this episode here so next time let's look into how to actually move up and down on the ramp. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. The link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in another episode. Goodbye.